Greetings, Marcus Melnick here with FirearmMentor.com and AntiViolenceProject.com. This may be a repeat episode, uh, but I want to share something that I saw today that will help you be safe. Uh, I haven't posted videos in a while. I, I've been kind of uh, under the weather with uh, bronchitis. And as the viral video goes, ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, but I've been on antibiotics, I'm better, you may hear it in my voice, and that's okay, that's what's going on. So, I went to the grocery store today, and just to get a couple ingredients for dinner, I was walking in the parking lot behind a, a woman who was probably in her 60s, she was holding what looked to be a gift basket, and just walking to her car in front of me, by this much, there was a car backing out, they didn't look, she wasn't aware, and the car missed her by less than a foot as it was backing out. She had just passed it and it cleared her. And my reaction, I, I was too far away to, to physically do anything. I said, oh my God, nobody's looking. And then after the lady almost got hit, she turned and looked at me, but did not look upset. Didn't look like, oh my God, I almost got hit by a car. No clue, clueless. That's what we call condition white when people are oblivious, they're unaware of their surroundings. Whether you carry a concealed firearm or not, you need to conduct yourself as if you are driving defensively. Just like when that ball rolls in the middle of the street, we stop because there could be a child running behind it. It really, your head has to be on a swivel and you hear that in the movies, but what it means is constantly looking around. Be aware of your surroundings, what's in front of you, what's behind you. This is the most important thing in personal safety, is to be aware of your surroundings. Be in condition yellow, which is a relaxed state of alertness. You're aware of, it's like you're driving defensively. I hope this helps you stay safe. Uh, one of the things we're working on is Anti-Violence Project, which is available at www.antiviolenceproject.com, where I'm conducting research on the physiological or physical and mental reactions to violence in broader, in broader terms, uh, these reactions to a stressful event, what happens inside your body, what can you can expect, how you're going to react. If you would like to donate, it, it's actually a Kickstarter program you can donate at www.antiviolenceproject.com. We would love your participation. Thank you and stay safe.